today we are working on a 2004 Acura MDX. We are going to be replacing the alternator that's down below. Um, first things first, you can pop off these caps that are hanging up. Um, I already did these. And then under that, there's going to be four 10 millimeter bolts. One right here, one, two, four. Then right here, you're going to have this um, plastic thing that's going to be right here on the bottom. Probably can see that. Yeah, so right there. And you're going to use a flathead to turn that. And then this guy will just lift right up, pop it. Then we'll have access um, to our serpentine belt. We'll go ahead and loosen the tension on the tensioner. And then um, if I can recall, I remember taking out the alternator from up top. So I'm going to try to see if I can do it that way. It's been a while since I worked on one of these. So we'll go ahead and start the process from, from right there on the belt. Then also before you take off the belt, make sure you uh, disconnect your negative side battery terminal. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take off this tensioner. It is a 14 millimeter, but I'm going to be using a 15. I um, already replaced this tensioner before. So you want to go counterclockwise. We got our belt off. We'll go ahead and just kind of move over our belt a little bit. We won't. We do not want to take it off completely. So we're going to go ahead and take off this harness clip. Just pull back the tab a little bit. Take off this 10 millimeter bolt that's right there this one's on top of the alternator and then we are going to take off this clip um, right behind the alternator too as well um, that's just going to be a squeeze type clip and then we're going to have um, a bolt up on top that's going to be a 14 and then another bolt up on under we're going to go ahead and take off those ones too as well And there you have it. Um, so basically, this is how it was. This is exactly how it was sitting on the car. And then when I snuck it out from there, um, I came in from the bottom and worked my way out just like that. Um, and now we're just going to go ahead and reverse the order. All right. So now it's time to sneak this back, this guy back in. Make sure you don't tilt this guy completely or else it will kind of pour out just a little bit. Now when you're putting this in, you need to make sure that this connector side is going in first. So, I don't know if you saw that in the video. Um, basically what I did was So basically what I did was I laid the alternator on top and then I hammered in between the housing Right there um, in the center of that and Then once it kind of went down a little bit. I was this was able to seat right in so That pushed out the pin just a like a hairline out so that was able to work out and save me some time from doing all that stuff unnecessary stuff so now we'll go ahead and just bolt everything right back up And this is going to be the belt diagram. So starting from the crankshaft, then we're going to go over to the AC compressor, then to the 
believe this is the idler pulley and the right above it's the tensioner and then the power steering's up on top and then we have the alternator right there so we'll go ahead and follow that procedure now as you're putting this just watch your fingers make sure you don't snap it you don't want to get your fingers stuck in there because it will hurt now inspect everything Make sure your uh, your belts and the grooves so that they don't slip off during start off. And then we'll go ahead and slide this right under the power steering line. Then there's going to be one connector right there. Clip that right back in. Clip that. Bolt down the 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 power cable. We're going to put back on the power steering. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, connect our negative cable. We're going to go ahead and start the vehicle, check it out before I put it on the cover, just to make sure that nothing failed during this process. And um, I will get right back to you. You just want to, um, if you have a digital multimeter, um, you want to go ahead and check these voltage and make sure that they're in between 13.2 um, to 14.9. Um, anything after 15 voltage, it's overcharging, and anything under 13 voltage is undercharging. So I want to go ahead and check that, make sure everything's going good once I'm done checking that. And um, I'll go ahead and put back the rest of the stuff. How you do this job um want to give out a shout out to mina for helping me out on this job you know letting me take the honors on working on his vehicle and then i want to give out a shout out to the guys at autozone at 5660 thanks danny thanks louis for sending in these parts um but if you like the video hit the thumbs up and then comment below let me know how i did and then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future and thanks for watching.